Now I can apply this glaze on cakes, on fruits, etc. And they're going to look so pretty. Hi, I'm Hambit and I'm a pastry chef from Korea. Hi everybody, it's Hambit here. 안녕하세요, 조한빛입니다. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a mirror glaze and specifically the neutral mirror glaze. Many of you have been asking me about the glaze that I use. And I use this mirror glaze pretty much everywhere whenever I can because it simply makes your dessert look nice. And the brand that I use is called Absolute Crystal from the brand Valrona. And Valrona is known as a company that makes really good chocolate. But they also make this really nice neutral glaze called Absolute Crystal. But this Absolute Crystal might not be available everywhere in the world. So if you're looking for some sort of a neutral mirror glaze, I recommend you go to Amazon or Amazon equivalent wherever you live and type mirror glaze or neutral glaze or neutral mirror glaze. And if you find another brand, it's fine. Just use that. However, if you can't find anything, then this is the tutorial you need to watch because I'm going to show you how to make it from scratch. And it's actually super easy because there are only five ingredients. Have you clicked like and subscribe? And before I start, I'll talk a bit about glaze. When I say mirror glaze, it's referring to a glaze that is shiny and glossy. It's so shiny that when you look into it, you can actually see your face. It's like a mirror. That's why it's called a mirror glaze. However, it doesn't necessarily have to be transparent. The transparent versions of the mirror glaze is what I call neutral mirror glaze. So if you say mirror glaze, it could be a transparent one or it might not be a transparent one. Here are a few examples where I've used a mirror glaze that is not transparent. I've used it on cakes and petit gâteaux and they look really, really nice and shiny. And here are a few examples where I've used the transparent mirror glaze or we call it the neutral mirror glaze. I not only apply it on fruits, but apply it on cakes as well. Right, ingredients. There are only five ingredients. Water, sugar, corn syrup or glucose, lemon juice. And the lemon juice needs to be clear. You don't want bits of lemon inside it. And gelatin. You'll notice that it's quite a lot of gelatin. And you need a lot of gelatin because you want the glaze to stick on top of whatever you're applying to. So first, I'm going to bloom the gelatin in ice cold water. The method is so straightforward. Water, sugar, glucose or corn syrup. I'm going to boil this to 105 degrees Celsius, take it off the heat, add the lemon juice and gelatin. That's it, all done. I'm going to stir it before I turn the heat on. And I'm not going to stir it at all while I'm heating it up to 105 degrees Celsius because you might get crystallization. Right, it's 105. I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to add the lemon juice. Squeeze the water out of the balloon gelatin. And add that in. I'm now going to strain this through a sieve and put it in the fridge to chill. You're done. One thing you have to remember from beginning to end is that you do not want bubbles inside the glaze. Just think about this for a second. You're not only applying this neutral mirror glaze on top of fruits, but you also use this glaze to apply on cakes, like petit gâteaux, like really nice mousse cakes. And what you want is a very smooth surface without bubbles. I'm going to cover it with cling film and let it chill in the fridge. I don't want condensation, so I'm going to let this wrap come into contact with the glaze. What this also does is the bubbles from the surface of the glaze stick to the cling film. So when you take the cling film off, the bubbles come off with it. Great, now this goes into the fridge. Right, here's my neutral mirror glaze that's been in the fridge overnight. You can definitely use it straight after making it, but it's more often the case that you'll leave it and use it the day after or the day after that. So if you think about the recipe, it had a lot of gelatin, so it's basically turned into jelly. When 
I need to use it, I'm going to scoop it out like this and simply put it in the microwave and it'll turn into liquid form. Take a look at this. I've put it in the microwave for about like 20 seconds and it's turned liquid again. It's a bit too hot right now, but I usually use it around somewhere between 30 and 40 degrees Celsius. Now I can apply this glaze on cakes, on fruits, etc. And they're going to look so pretty. Hopefully this tutorial on how to make the neutral mirror glaze was helpful. In most cases, I think it'll be easier to buy the neutral glaze off the shelf rather than make it yourself. But this was a good exercise to understand what actually goes inside a glaze. Although the commercial ones will be slightly different as they need a longer shelf life. Plus, I know that there are some of you who can't get hold of neutral glazes. So in that case, why don't you make it from scratch using my recipe? I'll come back with another Pastry 101 video next time. Thank you very much. Come to me.